I am sharing all my thoughts and topics with you people. One of the things that I had in my head for you is, you are all exceptionally good at everything. Thanks for each and everyone coming back at every single time to listen, learn and grow. Today I want to dive you into a video where the problems related to the Wilson theorem are being solved. And your solutions are one step away, one click away or else one mindset away. And let's get started with today's topic that is the problems related to the Wilson theorem. So we have to find the reminder when 2 into 26 factorial when divided by 29 and 2 into 28 factorial when divided by 31 and 14 factorial when divided by 17 and 94 factorial when divided by 97. So these are all the important questions related to the Wilson theorem. So these are all very helpful for MCS students, BTEC, BSc and any degree. So thank you so much for watching and here is the first problem so i'm going to find the reminder when 2 into 26 factorial when divided by 29 see here as i said you earlier in my previous video about the wilson theorem so wilson theorem according to the wilson theorem statement so here it is the result that p minus 1 factorial is congruent to minus 1 into mod p so you have to watch my previous video for getting the proof of the Wilson theorem. So the final result is like this. P minus 1 factorial is congruent to minus 1 into mod P. So here we have to find the remainder when 2 into 26 factorial when divided by 29. So first thing here is I am taking P value. So it is a prime number which is 29. Clear? And see in place of p, I am going to substitute 29. So this will be 29 minus 1 factorial, which is congruent to minus 1 into this is mod 29. Clear? So what is 29 minus 1 factorial? So which is equal to 28 factorial, which is congruent to minus 1 into this is mod 29. Clear? So here, according to our question, I need 26 factorial. So, whereas we have 28 factorial. So, I have to transform this 28 factorial into 26 factorial. So, for that what I am doing here is 1. So, what is factorial? 1, 2, 3 and so on. I need 26 factorial. So, I am writing 26 and again this is 27 and this is 28 which is congruent to minus 1 into this is mod 29. Clear? So, Till here, so I will be getting 26 factorial. So I need 26 factorial. So I am writing till here as 26 factorial. So this will be 26 factorial into 27 into 28, which is congruent to minus 1 into this is mod 29. Clear? So here, what is the purpose here? So I need 26 factorial. So when 20... 27 is divided by 29. So, the reminder here will be 27 minus this is 29. And here, this is 28 minus this is 29, which is congruent to minus 1 into this is mod 29. Clear? And next thing here is, this will be 26 factorial into 27 minus 29 is minus 2 and 28 minus 29 is minus 1, which is congruent to minus 1 into, this is mod 29. See here, minus 1 into, minus 2 into minus 1, which is equal to 2 plus 2, which is congruent to, this is minus 1 into, this value is mod 29. Clear? So, we need the reminder when 2 times of 26 factorial when divided by 29. So, here this is 2 times of 26 factorial is congruent to minus 1 into mod 29. So, according to our problem, this will be the reminder. So, 2 into 26 factorial when congruent to minus 1 into mod 29 which is equal to the reminder when 29 is divided by 2 times of 26. So, here the problem is we don't want this negative reminder. So, in order to get a positive reminder, so we have to divide for one more time and we have to see the positive reminder here. In order to get the positive reminder, what I am doing here is I am adding for one more time, that is 29. So, this is mod 29. So, for the negative reminder, this will be the answer for positive reminder. So, I have to divide for one more time. So, this will be the positive reminder that is 28 times. So, this is mod 29. So, here the reminder is 28. So, 28 is the answer when 2 times of 26 factorial when divided by 29. So, this is the final answer. 
See here. What is the remainder when 2 times of 26 factorial when divided by 29? So first thing here is we have to take the Wilson theorem. According to the Wilson theorem, that is P minus 1 factorial is congruent to minus 1 into mod P. So here I have taken the prime number P as this is 29. So I have taken 29 from here. So after substituting in place of P as 29, see here this is 28 factorial. In our question, we have 26 factorial and therefore for after transmission. So till here I have written 26 factorial and this is 27 and 28 left. So here this will be. So the remainder when 27 is divided by 29 will be the answer here that is 27 minus 29 here also 28 minus 29 so which is equal to minus 2 into minus 1 which is equal to 2 therefore 2 times of 26 factorial is congruent to minus 1 into mod 21 this will be the reminder actually this will be the reminder that is the negative, negative reminder so we want a positive reminder so in order to get a positive reminder further we have to take add 29 for one more time so here 29 for one more time so this will be the positive reminder so I need the positive reminder and this is how we have to solve this is also so simple if you follow this uh, Wilson theorem statement or a proof and next one is we have to find the reminder so we have to find the reminder when 2 into 28 factorial when divided by 31 so according to our Wilson theorem so we have p minus 1 factorial is congruent to minus 1 into mod p here what is our prime number prime number is when divided by 31 so we have to take 31 here and again we have to substitute in place of p as 31 so this is also very clear 31 minus 1 factorial which is congruent to minus 1 into this one is mod 31 clear so what is 31 minus 1 factorial this is 30 factorial which is congruent to minus 1 into this value is mod 31 clear and the next thing here is in the question we need 28 factorial so in order to get the 28 factorial see what i'll do so factorial means 1 2 3 till 30 so here in between there is 28 this is 29 and 30 till 30 we have to write so i need 28 factorial till here I am writing 28 factorial so this will be congruent to this is minus 1 into this value is mod 31 so here till here what I have to write this is 28 factorial into 29 into 30 which is congruent to minus 1 into this value is mod 31 and see here so these values are transformed as this is 28 factorial so the remainder when 29 when divided by 31 so this will be 31 and this is 30 minus 31 so which is congruent to minus 1 into this value is mod 31 and see here this is 28 factorial into see this is 30 31 so this is minus 2 times and this is minus 1 time which is congruent to minus 1 into this value is mod 31 so minus 2 into minus 1 is a positive value that is 28 factorial into 2 which is congruent to minus 1 into this value is mod 31 and see here this is 2 times of 28 factorial is congruent to minus 1 into this value is mod 31 see here we need the reminder we need the reminder when 2 into 28 factorial when divided by 31 so here this will be the so this will be the reminder when 2 into 28 factorial when divided by 31 but this is a negative value so in order to get the positive value what we have to do so we have to add this one so this is minus 1 plus this value is 31 so if i divide for one more time so i'll be getting a positive reminder so in order to get the positive reminder so this is the thing or a fact which we have to do so this value will be 30 times of this value will be positive 30 times of this is mod 31 so this is how so these two values are equal so this is a negative reminder so we don't bother about the negative reminder so we need a positive reminder so this will be the reminder when 2 into 28 factorial when divided by 31 so this is how we have to solve this is very very simple if you follow these steps and definitely you can score more and the next thing here is so we have to find the reminder when 14 factorial when divided by 17 see here what is the prime number here p is equal to 17 so if i take p is equal to 17 here so the prime number as a 17 if i take and substitute here then 
in place of p so according to the wilson theorem we have p minus 1 factorial is congruent to minus 1 into mod p i am taking 17 that is a 17 minus 1 factorial which is congruent to minus 1 into this is mod 17 clear so what is 17 minus 1 so this value is a 16 factorial which is congruent to minus 1 into this value is mod 17 so in the question what is needed 14 factorial is needed so here i'll transform the 16 into 14 so this can be written as 1 2 3 and so on till 16 i have to write in between there is 14 15 and 16 which is congruent to minus 1 into this value is mod 17 so till here so i can write this from 1 to 14 i can write as 14 factorial as i need a 14 factorial so this value will be 14 factorial into this is 15 into 16 which is congruent to minus 1 into this value is mod 17 see here Finally, I got 14 factorial. So, this is 14 factorial into, this is 15 into 16. So, this will be, so when 15 is divided by 17, so here the remainder will be 15 minus 17 and 16 minus 17, which is congruent to minus 1 into this value is mod 17. And see here, this will be 14 factorial into, so this value is minus 2 and this value is minus 1, which is congruent to minus 1 into the value here is mod 17. So if I multiply these two, so this will be plus 2 times of, this is 14 factorial, which is congruent to minus 1 into the value here is mod 17. See, I got a negative remainder when 2 times of 14 factorial, when divided by 17 so i got a negative remainder so i am not talking about this negative remainder i want a positive remainder so i have to divide for one more time with 17 so that i'll be getting a positive remainder for that see here the logic here is so we have to add this 17 for one more time in order to get a positive remainder so here this will be 2 times of this is 14 factorial which is congruent to 16 times of modulus of 17 so this is a positive remainder so there is 14 so in the question it was asked to find the remainder well 14 factorial when divided by 17 so we need only 14 factorial so there is no need of 2 here therefore i am dividing 2 on both sides so this will be 14 factorial when divided by this is a 16 by 2 if i divide here and here so this will be mod 17 so here also division on both sides so if i cancel this one if i cancel this one for eight times this will be 14 factorial which is congruent to eight times of this value is mod 17 clearly this is a positive reminder so the positive reminder here is eight so we got the remainder as plus eight when 14 factorial when divided by 17 so this is how we have to solve so these four are of uh, same kind so that's why it will be very simple in my next video i'll be telling two more or three more problems which are of a different kind so don't miss that video also so here find the remainder when 94 factorial when divided by 97 so according to our uh, wilson theorem we have p minus 1 factorial is congruent to minus 1 into mod p here the prime number here is we have a prime number as 97 so if i substitute in place of p as 97 so this will be 97 minus 1 factorial so which is congruent to minus 1 into this modulus of 97 so clear what is 97 minus 1 so this is 96 factorial which is congruent to minus 1 into this is mod 97 we need 94 factorial from the question so i am transforming this as 94 so 96 factorial is nothing but this is 1 into 2 into 3 into and so on here this is 94 this is 95 and this is still 96 so which is congruent to minus 1 into this value is mod 97 so till 97 so from 1 till 97 we can write as 94 factorial so this will be 94 factorial into 95 into 96 which is congruent to minus 1 into modulus of 97 so in order to get 94 factorial so i have written till 94 factorial and these two numbers are left over so here this will be 94 factorial and the remainder when 95 and divided by 97 so this will be 95 minus 97 and here 
the remainder when 96 is divided by 97 so which is congruent to minus 1 into mod 97 and this will be 94 factorial into 95 minus 97 is minus 92 and 96 minus 97 is next minus 1 which is congruent to this is minus 1 times of this is mod 97 and see here minus 2 into minus 1 so which is equal to 2 which is congruent to minus 1 into this value is mod 97 mod 97 so here we need the remainder of 94 factorial when divided by 97. So here there is 2 times of 94 factorial when divided by 97 as minus 1. Here is a negative remainder. So I want a positive remainder. So I will divide for one more time in order to get a positive remainder. So here this is I am adding for one more time in order to get a positive remainder. So that is the logic you have to keep it in mind for getting a positive remainder. That is 2 times which is congruent to this value is 98. So this is modulus of 97. So here there is no need of 2. So I am dividing both sides with 2. 97 factorial this is 2 divided by 2 and this is 98 divided by 2 and this is mod 97. So here if I cancel this for one time and here if I cancel this for this value is 2 4 sir, 8 and this value will be. 6 18 and this one 18 uh, this value will be of uh, so here is a clarity that 96 minus uh, 97 minus 1 is 96 and here is a 6 here so there is an 8 value here so after dividing so this value is 94 factorial which is congruent to the value here is 48 into modulo 97 so we got the remainder as 48 plus 48 when 94 factorial is divided by 97 so this is how we have to solve and thank you so much for watching and staying till the end hope you all got a clarity on all the similar problems which i have applied using the wilson theorem in my next video i'll be posting two or three more problems which are of different kind please go through that video also definitely all these problems will be a mix and match for your examination and definitely your preparation will be damn easy so please go through the playlist once so many videos are uploaded so many topics are uploaded for your preparation please pass it on to your friends avail this opportunity of uh, reducing your brain stress thank you so much for watching and staying till the end